book it's been talk. a long tangent to book talk, it's, but it has. I don't know if I've talked. I might have talked about the series on book talk before. Are you further down the book train? I am further down the book train. I don't think I've built like a set. Like I don't think I built a clip. I off don't of remember it. you talking about this specifically. Um. Okay. Um. So. I'm doing the thing. I know. Phone time. Phone time. Um, By Walter White. Will White. Will Wright. White. White. Will w White. W-I-G-H-T. Will White. Yeah, it, honestly, I, I have to say it slowly because it's like a tongue twister for me. I don't know if it's just my southern accent or what. My Appalachian kicks and I start talking fast and just forget. Will White. We will. Maybe I need another Godfather. <laughs> so, um, this is the Last Horizon series by Will White, uh, the third book for when we're recording this podcast. Uh, just came out the night. Um, I think it released on the eleventh. Will White. And I finished it that night. Um, wow, Thone reads fast. Flexing on all of us. But the first book in the series is called The Captain, right? So the premise of the series is that you're in you're in a it's not like the future, it's not our universe, right? But it's you know, there's humans, there's multiple different species, you know, out there. They have technology and they have magic and it's all kind of intermixed and doing weird things together, right? Um, this uh, this man who's a uh, the the main character who's the son of the owner of a major like corporation, an evil corporation more or less, right? Crime organization, hence Godfather. No, it's not a crime organization. It's just a big evil corporation, evil conglomerate. Yeah, Godfather. Um, Mafia. He's put together this spell, a very, very expensive spell, because they go extensively over how much everything costs to make it happen. Mm. But essentially what the spell is supposed to do is it's supposed to give him, because the rules to magic is that you only have the time and the ability to gain access to mastery over one form of magic. In your lifetime. In your lifetime, right? Okay. So, like... If you want to be like a water mage, like an arc mage of wa of the element of water, that's that's it. That's all you got, right? You can, you might do a little bit of weird things with it. And Pretty do much, you can't ice. become an avatar. Yeah. <clears throat> well, he comes up with a spell that will give him access to an additional five lives worth of magic. Right. And so he's like, I'm going to have access to six different forms of magic. I'll be an archmage of all of them. Right. I'll just be a demigod. Well, it goes a little askew because he doesn't just get the memories for the magic. He gets the memories of these lives that he lived. And in every single one of these other five lives, he dies somehow. So let's say your normal life is like 80 years. Multiply that by five. You have that many years worth of. Well, but like every single time he dies early to one big bad or another, right? Like Holy giant cow. cyborgs that conquer the entire universe or giant, you know, alien insect monsters. So are these all in the same universe or are they like alternate universes that he's They're all they're all technically they're all part of the same universe. The same universe they're galaxy. All potential endings to the life. Endings to his life. They're all potential futures. Jeez. And so he gets all of this, and his dad's like, hey, what happened? Where are you going? And he just boards a ship and dips out, and his dad's like, what the fuck, bro? We just spent all this money to make this happen, and you just dip. What happened is he got access to all these memories, and the first thing he decides to do is just go off and fucking solve all the universe's problems before they happen, right? And so that's what okay. he does, is he spends a year fucking just fixing, everything. fixing everything. But then he's like, cool. I solved all the problems, right? I'm good. I can go home and rest. He's like, I'm going to go be a teacher at a, uni a magic university somewhere <laughs> because fuck it. I don't know what I, to do I, now. I know everything. I might as well teach everything. 
So, you know, he's he's solved the last problem and uh, he's hanging out. But, you know, the universe is going to get you. So, like, his last problem that he solved, he didn't really solve it. There was a way out for the big bad, for this this big bad. Well, he's, you know, doing, you know, spelunking in between teaching classes. And he comes across a... Ancient artifact. An ancient artifact. A legendary, like, handed down through history ship that is crewed by legends. And it just crops up every now and then through That's, history. It's like... And it's, Stargate, the ancients that made the Stargates. Yeah, it, and it's made. It's made out of ancient technology with ancient magic. It's like touching Atlantis. It, yes, pretty much. And he was like, he becomes. The, you know, I'm not giving anything away. It's the name of the fucking book, right? He becomes the captain of the Last Horizon, right? And then, like, the story really progresses from there because you don't get. You don't see him solving all the universe's problems. He's like, I've solved all the problems. Like, we do a time skip. I've solved all the problems. Yeah. And then we pick up. Right? And now he's dealing with where he's at now. And now he's dealing with where he's at. He's become the captain of the Last Horizon. He's got to assemble his crew. And the crew is... Cons- well, I've lived all these lives. Might as well pick and choose throughout yeah, the best I mean, of the best. he knows a bunch of people from his past lives, right? And so the crew And consists- they all know me. We probably all look the same. They and- don't know him. Oh, they don't know him, but he knows everything about them. He knows everything about them. They know nothing about him because they didn't experience those lives with him. Wow. Okay. So he has to get an engineer, which when, when they build a contract with the last horizon, you know, adds their, their capabilities to the last horizon. Um, you know, they get a knight, a commander, which, you know, the commander controls their fleets. Yeah. Right. Um, engineer, cap, captain, captain, engineer, commander, medic, pilot, probably. Um, and sword. Okay. Wait, how many is that? That's five. And knight. Six. Yeah, six. It's six total. So you got your marshal, your flyer. Yep. Him being magic across the board. And they do a really good job of giving the, the, the author, Will White, he gives, and I've already said it multiple times before, but he gives a really good job of giving characters character, even like offshoot characters. But like all six of your main characters have value. realistically they're all main characters, but they are all fascinating people. They all have value and there's humor included. There's comedy included. It, it's just like, it's just really good, right? Like, I'm really enjoying my journey. I'm going to have to pick up my book reading. I'm just going to have to walk around with freaking... <laughs> I've been trying to get you to read so many books, bro. I know. I've been trying so hard. I know that you're doing a lot of self-help stuff. I've read through, like... I think I've read through, like, 22 hours this week of uh, the book in a year. Yeah. It was just like, oof. Okay. So, I mean... I'm, I'm, I think I just ate a bug. Protein. That's fine. So I mean, I'm at, I'm at the end of March. So with this, if I keep this up and I listen at work, I could definitely push through in the next month or so, and then dive into all the fantasy books. I've got so many books lined up for you, bro. Or here's an idea: I'll read all my fantasy stuff at work because I'm there split for split time. Yep, split do, time. Do you like your commander does? Yeah. Split time. <laughs> have we talked about him on podcast? I don't think we have, but we'll, we'll have to touch on that in a second. And we'll try to touch it real quick. I mean, he watches the podcast and he tells me he loves the book talks and he's reading all these different books depending on where he's at. In the house. In the house. Does, anywhere. Coffee time, living room time, office time, bathroom time, garage time, workout time, all over the place. Thanks, bro. I'd like to grab a drink with you. And offer recommendations from yours truly, Mike. <laughs>